That was actually pretty sick. That was pretty sick. <laughs> we'll keep that in. I mean, if you want, dude. What the fuck is going on? Welcome to Radio Ridley Radio. I'm your host, Michael Ridley. Today's date is 4.30, baby. It's motherfucking 5.17 p.m. Central Standard Time in the great town of Austin, Texas. I'm on two Alpha Brain, one cup of iced coffee, and I haven't masturbated today. So your boy's up to his brim in jizzo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get it fucking started, dude. A dollar might... Fuck up a million, now you all rich. That's just how I feel. Kendrick Lamar uh, recently, uh, today, as of today, Kendrick Lamar dropped Euphoria, his response to Drake. And Drake can't say the N-word anymore. You know what I heard, folks? There's a free N-word pass up in the air right now, (laughs) and I want it. Give me it. Give me that N-word pass, black community. Give it to me. I want it. If Drake can't say it anymore, Michael Ridley can. Those are the new rules. (laughs) Anyone who has a problem with me, cash me out in public while I'm screaming the N-word. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did listen to it. It, it was uh, it's it's quite fire. Go check it out. It's coming out. This episode comes out this next this, week. N- next this no, week. this week it comes this out this week. Week. yeah. So if you're watching this, this happened days ago. This happened days ago. Yeah. If you're watching this now, what it'd be Friday? So this today's Tuesday, four thirty. Yeah, Kendrick bodied his ass. And the end, he says, I don't want to hear you say the N-word anymore. That's like the hook at the end. Damn. That is crazy, dude. <laughs> That's crazy to be like like a full black dude being like, hey, half black guy. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> not you don't anymore. look black enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not. You're not. Uh, you're. <laughs> it's funny that everyone's like, look at Drake trying so hard to be black. And it's funny because like that's what happens when you're biracial, bro. You can't you kind of fall to the wayside of both races. Yeah, it happens all the time. So like, I I feel Drake. I feel Drake's uh, that thing because I'm not Asian enough for Asians, but I ain't white. It might backfire because uh, like, don't people get don't people get like mad within the black community when like black people say you're not black enough? Like that's a whole thing, right? Like yeah, it's but like judging your how black you are. It ain't going away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's never gonna change, unfortunately. And I think it's funny. That Drake's getting his black card taken away from him. I think that's really fucking funny. <laughs> By Kendrick, like yeah. king, king king of the streets. Yeah, yeah. Kung Fu Kenny just uh, karate chopped his N-word pass in half. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wild? That's crazy. I'm going to take it from you right now. <laughs> 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 fucking Kendrick, dude. <clears throat> this dick ain't free. Couldn't <laughs> fuck with that one, dude. I could not fuck with that one. I think we had this conversation with Lamar. I know you guys don't like my take on Kendrick. I love Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I not, love. I'm not a fan. Oh yeah, that's right. You're not a fan. Yeah. I'm. Pro- I mean, I think he's he's objectively good, but I'm just not. It's not. I, when it goes in my ears, my body goes. Eh, I don't like it. A dollar might turn into a million. Now we all rich. That's just how I feel. That's what might happen. Yeah. One one minute one minute podcast clip might turn to a million, man. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're doing good. We're chilling. We're having, having fun. I have been having fun lately. I uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. I lost my job on April 12th. As of today, your boys got that unemployment. Dude. I got I got a proof. That UP baby. Yeah, I got a fucking. Uh, <laughs> I got a proof for unemployment. That rules. I'm very excited. It's not nearly as much as what I was making, but I'll take it. Yeah, I don't. I. It's kind of gay how it works, though, from what I was looking at. I have to request the money. It doesn't automatically go into my bank account, so I have to log in every yeah. week and request it. Yeah, I remember when I had to do that. During you have COVID. to do that? That's normal? <coughs> yeah, and a lot of the times you have to – I don't know how it works in Texas, but you have to report – are you getting it from Virginia or from Texas? I'm getting it from Texas. So you might – I don't know what the rules are, but in Oregon you have to, like uh, – You have to apply you have for to jobs. Sh- yeah, you have to show, like, some bullshit, like, you're actually working on getting a job. <laughs> I mean, maybe you will. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to try. Just keep applying at the comedy mothership. <laughs> and then it's like, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite money glitch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just <laughs> Adam Egan, do not it, pass me. Yeah, <laughs> do, not, do not give me a call back yet. Adam Egan, I need, I need to keep getting <laughs> denied. I cannot have employment. <laughs> Adam, a, a job here would be so sick, but your boy's on unemployment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Please don't hire me. Yeah. Anybody. Sunset Strip. <laughs> I auditioned at a really okay set. I had big pops in it. 
but uh, I didn't get that. So I was like, nice. I literally, uh, I literally said on stage, I was like, uh, I don't even know why I'm here auditioning to get a job here. I just applied for unemployment today, and I got a huge pop. Nice. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm kind of a dumbass. Why yeah, am I doing yeah. that? <laughs> Nothing I do makes sense, dude. You're realizing it on stage. I'm on stage, like, yo, this. I would make. I'm gonna make way more money on unemployment than working as a door guy here. What the fuck am I thinking, dude? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a math Asian. I'm not a man. I like the camera framing you got going on. Which one am I looking at? Uh, I, I, both of them. You're playing know. with it. I'm playing with them a little bit. I just turned this one on right now. That's crazy. Oh my god, it's kind of doing... redundant, but it's just to show the thing. On sometimes on the... just give give some visual simulation for the fish brain people out there yeah, like myself. Yeah. Um. Last night I was driving home and I was doing uh Mark. Mark Zucker, gay Mark Zuckerberg in the metaverse. <laughs> I just kept driving. I was driving home. I found a filter on Instagram and the mouth didn't work very well. So it was literally just like a plain face Mark Zuckerberg. And I just kept going, uh, <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. Welcome to the metaverse. Uh, put your headset on. Fuck me in my ass. <laughs> put your headset on. Welcome to the metaverse. In the metaverse, you can say the N-word as much as you want. <laughs> Welcome to the metaverse. Put your finger in my butt. Nobody's gay in the metaverse. Whoa, hello, hi. <laughs> hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. I'm never going to monetize Michael Ridley's podcast. I'm never... <laughs> none of Michael, none of your podcast clips on Instagram will ever monetize. Because you're not in the metaverse. In the metaverse, you can be whatever you want. I'm a gay black guy. <laughs> Put your dick in my ass. In the metaverse. Whoa, hello. Whoa. Hi. Hi. You do such a good mark, Zuckerberg. It is a good mark. That's it, a uh, fuck new character. Uh, oh, yeah, God yeah, damn, yeah, I yeah, don't we, have the sounds. We like. haven't done that in a long time. We haven't we done haven't. the sounds. We need to re-record the drops and get stoked on them. We'll again. make it. Yeah, we'll make whatever we want, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Look at... <laughs> <coughs> in the real world... I'm a millionaire Jew, but in the metaverse, I'm a gay millionaire Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mark Zuckerberg Jewish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Zuckerberg. Yeah. Zuckerberg and Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, this is the most Jewish last name in yeah, the world. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, hello, hi. Shalom, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome, to the, welcome to the metaverse. Welcome to the Ridleyverse. In the metaverse... Palestine doesn't exist. <laughs> oh fuck! I think we. Uh, this is an. Uh, welcome to our first Patreon episode. <laughs> hey, hey, dude. Should we start doing two hours at a time and go unhinged on a Patreon? Do you think it's too early? <clears throat> yeah. Somebody in the comments on one of the episodes already asked. Oh really? Yeah. Somebody already Damn. asked about that. And it. Uh, they had. They had two concerns. They were like, one. Question number one. They said, when are you guys? If and when are you guys going to have a Patreon? And will that be available? And number two was, why is only up to episode seven uploaded on Apple Podcasts? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Whoa, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. In the metaverse, you can listen to all of episodes of Radio Ridley <laughs> Radio on Apple Podcasts. In the metaverse, you won't need a producer. You can just use <laughs> AI. In the metaverse, Taylor actually does his job. <laughs> In the metaverse, I like how peop the, the, the podcast is getting more traction and people are snitching on you. <laughs> That's crazy. They're like, yo, who the fuck is doing all your shit for free and out of the pure pure goodness of their heart and their belief in you? <laughs> Dude, tell he that sucks. guy to fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, what did I say? Hold on. <laughs> Here, look, look, look. Look at the co Hold on. Remind I'll me to upload Radio Ridley Radio episodes to Spotify. <laughs> Oh, I have my sound turned off, but it, That's it, so it worked. Funny. It's on there. That's funny. Hold on, let me pull up my comments. I'll read. I'll read the interaction out to you. Uh, it's oh God. Two things. One, do you guys have a plan? Uh, in uh, what are these ones called? What What is this? I don't know what you're doing. Like when you put text in here. Butt plug I'm, captions. No, parentheses. Oh, parentheses. Yeah. Parentheses? Yeah, parentheses. I was going to say quotations. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Two things. One, do you guys have or plan in parentheses or plan on making a Patreon? And two, why haven't you uploaded the last, like, seven episodes on <laughs> Apple Podcasts? Frowny face. Taylor, 
frowny face. Okay, I'll get on it. I'm sorry. Gallen Evo. GG GG Allen Evo 84 says last seven episodes not on podcast bad Taylor everybody shame Taylor shame on Taylor he in the said comments bad Taylor no 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 oh, no okay. no shame on Taylor in the comments Damn guys it. shame on Taylor please you can't do anything that's right. a new it's it's it's, it's kind become, of a trend yeah it's shame on Taylor trend. is a new uh, thing that everyone's doing and I really love that I love that they jumped on that honestly. all right here's actually my... I'm gonna hate it please don't do that <laughs> shame on Taylor please, in the comments please folks don't do it yeah please do it uh, don't. <laughs> Do it. Uh, <laughs> my reply. Number one. Maybe one day. I don't feel comfortable creating a Patreon until we get more growth on the channel. Tell two friends to tell two friends. And two, yell at Taylor via the company email. Radio Ridley Radio <laughs> at gmail.com. Bro, thanks for being such a de dedicated listener slash viewer. We are literally dumbasses, and I appreciate your patience. I think that was pretty professional. Yeah. That was a pretty, pretty professional reply. A little self-deprecation in there right at the end, too. Yeah, because I'm a... I don't know what the fuck's going on, dude. I don't yeah, know. That what is, that's my bad. Yeah. You know how we were talking about, um, you know how we were talking about, uh, when Captain was here, we were talking about how I would totally do jackass. Mm -hmm. I saw a clip of Bobby Lee and Johnny Knoxville, and Bobby Lee's like, why don't you have any Asians on jackass? <gasps> and I sent that to Rachel Wolfson with eye emojis, like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me do jackass, dude. Bro, I don't know though, because <sighs> I'm Michael Ridley. Well, it, I'm Michael Ridley. You're watching Jackass. This is screaming the N word in Walmart <laughs> as loud as possible. <laughs> hi, this is hi. Uh, welcome to Jackass. I'm Michael Ridley. This is the misgendering people on purpose. <laughs> edgy, edgy jackass. Yeah. No, I'd be good. I'd Hello, I'm Mark Zuckerberg, and welcome to Jackass. This is the Metaverse butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> the new the new Meta butt plug. Stick it up your ass, and you can have virtual sex with your partner in the Metaverse. It doesn't matter what you identify as. In the Metaverse, everyone's gay and has big black tits. Silly. So dumb. <laughs> I think so we fun. squeezed all that out before the fucking. We did. I, it was, I was pissed. Now you're you not laughing. Still got a couple good ones. You're, you're not. Still, you're not laughing at any of the stuff I did earlier. You still got a couple good ones on the pod. It was all good. Yeah, it's, it's fine. All good. The, uh, Mark the, Zuckerberg, it's gone. No, it's good. It's good. Oh uh, hi. <laughs> that alone. Hello. Oh. Hello. He's always like. <laughs> he's. He always sounds like he got caught putting a finger up his ass. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I can put my pinky, my index, and my ring finger in my butt all at the same time. Only in the metaverse. <laughs> put your headset on. Fuck me in my ass. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm gay Mark Zuckerberg. Welcome to the metaverse. I'm going to I'm gonna get all my shit deleted. <laughs> my Instagram yeah. will be deleted next week. <laughs> I don't know. He has a sense of humor. He probably would like, he'd probably be like, damn, that's a pretty good. That might be the best Mark Zuckerberg impression. I, I love thinking about you just like in a voice just like comes to you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> like you're in the car, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, like your in, voice just I'm like just downloads driving, from I'm the just cloud. Just driving home. <laughs> yeah, just. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mark Zuckerberg. Welcome to the metaverse. We have a headset. It allows you to enter this world where everyone is gay. You can butt fuck your partner. You can boofoo in the metaverse. <laughs> you can butt fuck whenever you want, anywhere in the world. Put on your headset in the middle of an airport, butt fucking virtually. <laughs> and now we're introducing the meta plug. It fully immerses your asshole in the metaverse <laughs> when you're getting your cheeks clapped virtually. Now we're bringing anal pleasure via the internet and social media <laughs> in the palm of your hand. In the pocket of your ass. Right into the pocket of your pussy. Long distance relationships. No longer an issue. We're all one here in the metaverse. The pocket. Now, now with assistance... Uh, now with assistance and correspondence with Neuralink, you'll be able to masturbate virtually whenever you want. <laughs> the pocket of your butt of your asshole is crazy. The pocket of your ass. <laughs> Put your headset on. Fuck me in my butt. I'm Mark Cuckerberg. Cuck me. You can virtually be present while your wife gets fucked by a black guy. Only in the metaverse. You get to sit in the chair in the hotel room. 
while he goes to work. <laughs> Everyone knows that one chair that sits in the hotel. That one chair that's in the corner of every hotel room. Why is that there? Oh, so you can watch your wife get fucked by big black guys. Conveniently. From the comfort of your own home with the metaverse, all you have to do is plug in and you can watch your wife get ravaged by several large black men. Only in the... <laughs> <laughs> in real life, in real life, I'm a Jew millionaire, but in the metaverse, I'm a clown girl with big fat floppy clown milkers. <laughs> Watch me squirt, not through this flower, but through this one. Only in the metaverse. <laughs> Welcome to the squirtiverse. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh we were talking about this on Panties in the Mouth yesterday, but dude, I have a new kink, boys. And I don't know and here's the reason why I'm poking fun at you, Mark, is because you 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 know me too well. I don't know if you, I don't know if you were guys were looking at my cookies. Pause. Don't look at my cookies. Those are my cookies. Don't be looking at my cookies, boy. But I guess he found out through my Reddit search history that I am like totally in the fucking I'm in the clown girls. Tony, what do you think about clown girls? Have you seen them? Have you seen them? It's like mixing an anime girl and a goth girl together. It, it's a crazy phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. For me, it's colored hair. Like, uh, I don't want you to have any political affiliation, but I would love it if you had blue hair. Like, I want to fuck a blue hair girl that isn't a blue hair girl. You know what I mean? They don't exist. Yeah, so that's that's like a pre. That's like how it starts, right? It always starts with the black lipstick. It starts with a... Go on Reddit and type in clown girl. Hopefully we don't pull up any NSFW, but... I don't know if I want to go on Reddit and type in <laughs> to taint your reddit yeah taylor's personal reddit is just a bunch of fucking ripped dudes with their shirts off yeah i don't think we should open reddit dude i don't think we should open reddit on the pod clussy the cluss dude look that's crazy i typed in hot clown girls uh-huh child yeah. sexual abuse is illegal no dude what the hell that's not what we're looking for we're looking no, for no. hot of age girls in clown suits yeah i'm looking for cluss all right i'll just type in clussy I'm trying to put. I'm trying to take a peek at the clubs. Just want to see that. Hi, I'm Vanessa Closer. Oh my God, dude, this rules. Here, I'll just Google it. Glissy, not glissy, not close. Uh, <clears throat> this is what we were looking at at Naughton Panties in the Mouth the other day. I found the perfect. Like this, I, I just went to Reddit and I found the perfect example. All right, are you gonna send me a link? This is mm -hmm. this is the one we pulled up yesterday. Whoa, probably not this on a uh, IG. Don't go to the don't go to the uh, fourth and <laughs> don't go to the fourth slide on what I sent you. Did you send it to me on Instagram? Uh, I texted it to you so that you okay. could maybe. Uh... <laughs> I found this the girl. Here, look, look at this one though. I pulled this one up on. Uh, yeah, I panties think... in the mouth the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what. That's kind of like what I'm into right now. It's crazy. That's my uh that's my newest it's my newest obsesh. Why clown girls though? I don't know. I think there's something wrong with me. I didn't get anything from you on You Instagram. didn't get anything from me? Oh, you texted it. I texted it to you so that you could open it. McClussy. <laughs> <laughs> I had McDonald's today too. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> oh, I think we could definitely do the third slide, dude. The third slide? Yeah. yeah, for sure. The third slide is perfect because that's exactly what I ordered too. I got two McDoubles. <laughs> 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 McClus. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, but that yeah, that's exactly. Oh, so a little cuter, less like dark, yeah, dark and horror. I don't, you don't wanna... like the horror. No, 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 no. It's not a horror thing for me. It's like the cuteness of it. Yeah, it's a Ronald McDonald thing for you. <laughs> no, it's not Ronald. I don't want to fuck Ronald McDonald. Regina, Re Regina McDonald. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> you can fuck Ronald McDonald in the ass in the metaverse. Honk here's, honk. Here's the McDoubles. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's exactly what I got. I got two McDoubles, dude. <laughs> Is that what you're into right now? That's ex yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, fourth yeah. slide is known. No, uh, no uh, uh, Here, I'm gonna hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll look check. at it. I'll, I'll look check. at it I'll on check. my phone. No, they can't see it right now. I'll check. Yeah, fourth slide is a no no. Fourth slide rules. Oh though. yeah, fourth slide does rule. <laughs> yeah, you guys can. We look. can show this one though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that one works. One. That one works. Yeah. So yeah, it's like it's like that or like um, 
I, I don't understand it, but I'm trying to like troll my wife into thinking it's cool. I'm trying to figure out how to be like, come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> I want a girl to I want a girl to try to turn a <laughs> I want a girl that'll blow into my urethra and try to make a balloon animal out of my dick. <laughs> Just I wanna I want a girl to be like <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine, imagine, imagine you're just like, you're hitting it from the back. She looks over her shoulder and she's just like. <laughs> dude, I'm fucking busting immediately, dude. I can't. Gorsh. I'm fucking. <laughs> she honks dude. her clown nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, she honks her. Dude, is she wearing or a clown? Like you're, 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 you're having sex missionary <laughs> and then uh, and you, you bust uh, and she just squirts you in the face with a little fake flower. Yeah. You know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Indigo, indigo white. Oh yeah, that's a it's a OnlyFans girl. Indigo white. Indigo white. Right. Yeah. I'll look the Instagram up. Indigo white. Yeah, I'm gonna look up the Instagram too. Oh, this is what pop, this is what Radio Ridley has become, I'm boys. Just looking at clown girls. This one. Looking at clown girls, dude. Yeah. Oh, sh is she Russian? I don't know. Oh no. This is a. Oh, dude, there she is. At a, if you go back to Instagram, Raven. <laughs> She's cosplaying as Raven. There's another one. Yeah, the purple hair. The purple hair thing, too. Damn, what is the temperature in this hoe? Is it too hot? Dude, look at my face. What What are we doing? What? No, but what is the temp, though? 68. That's crazy. Yeah, dude, I'm just overstimulated, I guess. It's all that alpha brain and fucking coffee I drank earlier. God damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's the headphones and the hat. It's all of it, dude. My don't my ears are like how I stay cool. You're too powerful. I am too You're powerful. Too powerful. I've I've slowly become too powerful. <laughs> I don't know. Here's the problem. I sometimes I stay awake at night and I worry if I'm doing all of the right things. I worry if Maybe, maybe I I I stress too much over the opinion of others, and I I stay up until four in the morning. I eat a steady diet of YouTube shorts from twelve a.m. to four in the morning. <laughs> many a many a day have I spent watching the sunrise as <laughs> I see <coughs> what are the top ten rarest Lego pieces in existence. <laughs> Many, many moons have passed while I stay awake. Reading the comments. Learning about Fallout 4 lore. <laughs> and how the super mutants became to be. Yes. Many, many a fortnight was spent learning about the physics of a Rubik's Cube. Which has three thousand individual. <laughs> Have you seen those? No. You haven't seen the Rubik's cube? That's just a circle. It's just a ball. No. <laughs> How do you fucking solve that? I'm like, damn, dude. Watch that. Watch this Chinese filler go. <laughs> He's just fucking <laughs> done. I'll never be that agent. I'll never be that agent. When did we start this? Uh, like Thirty minutes in. Twenty-five what? minus like two. Yeah, so we're twenty-five minutes in. Minus two. All right, guys. That was uh, <laughs> another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Could have uh, could have used a guest today. What do you mean? The solo ones are good. Everyone loves everyone loves the solo pod, dude. It's hard, man. It's difficult. Great. It we're is. Chilling. I know. You're, you worry too much. You know what it is? What? I'm not using my chair. Oh. Figured it out. Tony, we get in the chair Tony, from the can, desk yeah, in there. Can you get the crucial chair? I'm like, what is wrong with me? What is wrong? Why am I so in uncomfortable? The your cheeks <laughs> can fit on any chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Zuckerberg. In the metaverse, you can tune how big your ass cheeks are. You won't have to live your life as an assless Asian man. Thank you, Tony. Guys, give it up for Tony. Oh, brother, that shit is hot, yeah. That chair is hot. 
<laughs> dude, I'm, dude, I'm freaking, dude, brother. My skin is like 75 degrees right now. Do you look at this shit? It's crazy. Uh, if anybody in the comments understands, like, what can I do? I, I, what can I do? Like, I live, like, I live in, like, I live in. Oh man, actually, dude, can we just relish in the moment for a second? My fucking neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. I am fully comfortable. Everything feels good. Hold on. Maybe the mic will pick this up. I'm about to do some fucking crazy shit. Oh. Do you guys get that? A little bit, yeah. Woo! 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 Crack a lacking, dude. I'm falling apart. Yeah. Maybe it's good. We that are. I, maybe it's good that I quit drinking when I did because my body was just degenerating, dude. My yeah. body was degenerating. Dude, I had to quit because I couldn't remember words. Like parentheses. You know, that that happens once in a while where I was like, what is this? What is what are these? Dude, that would happen almost every time I would start speaking to Chelsea. I would have to be like, uh, so it's like an animal. It's like an animal that you put in the bathtub and it's yellow. What is what is that? Something as simple as rubber ducky. I'd yeah. be like <laughs> when you were drinking. You're just so when I was drinking. When I was drinking, like, you know how, like, Spongebob's head when he forgets his name? I don't think so. They're like, what's his name? What's his name? There's, like, a bunch of Spongebob's in his head going through filing cabinets oh, looking no. for his name. <laughs> That's me. Like, my, <laughs> imagine a bunch of little Michaels in my head, and then they're and they're all drunk, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's third birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas of 99. Chuck that out of there. And then, uh, and then... Oh, the word spatula. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> like in drivers. Everything you learned in driving school. Everything I learned in boating school. Yeah. Out the window. That one time you saw your aunt's tits when you weren't supposed to. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep that. Oh, yeah, the time you saw your grandma naked. Yeah, we're going to multiply that one a couple times. <laughs> Make a couple of photocopies of this, please. <laughs> what the fuck? Why the hell? It'd be like, uh, hey, uh, hey, guys. Hey, guys. What? What kink department? Chefed up something new over the weekend. <laughs> I present to you, Clussy. <laughs> it's just like, gentlemen, uh, welcome. Thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, <laughs> me welcome, uh, members of the board. Uh, here at the Michael Ridley Kink Department, we have chefed out. We are rolling out something new for the summer of 2024, and that is clown pussy. <laughs> what is clown pussy, you may ask? It's a it's a perfect blend of gothic and anime girl mixed into one. What if you could have all of the best of a goth girl and everything that we love about anime girls? Ahigao face, uh, colored hair, cosplay, all into one. The makeup of a goth girl and the cosplay of an anime girl. Thus creating... Clown pussy. <laughs> Just fucking applause break. Fucking. I present to you <laughs> for the for the summer of 2024. Three hours a week. Masturbating to clown girl pictures. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We understand that, you know, some of you might not be on board of this trauma department. We know. <laughs> so, traumas over there like god fucking damn it how did they here we go again who who let us who let them into our office <laughs> who let them into our fucking offices michael here we go again they're all named michael yeah. michael please <laughs> what <laughs> you guys don't like this <laughs> i mean i how are we gonna break this to the wife oh she's gonna love it <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna love it uh charisma department yeah what's up <laughs> You gonna be able to figure out this clown pussy thing with the wife? Already been working on it. Already been planting seeds in her mind about how it would really spice things up in the bedroom. <laughs> All your impression guys are there too. It's just you doing the only that voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clown pussy, this is preposterous. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this company? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> well, it's a new development here <laughs> in the metaverse. In the Michael the Ridley verse. In the Ridley verse, <laughs> it's a new it's a new development here in the Ridley verse where he's exploring himself on a deeper level, and I'm on board with the clown pussy. <laughs> we've been 
Michael can plug in whenever he wants. <laughs> to the Closyverse. <laughs> Welcome to the Closyverse, where every girl has big boobs and a bright red nose. <laughs> She grabs my cock. She's like, honk, honk. Like, oh, my God. How'd you make it do that? She's like, just, <laughs> she's fucking, she's fucking pulling a, what is that magic trick with the colored flags? She's just pulling a million flags out of her pussy. <laughs> just a million flags coming out of her pussy, dude. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. I don't think, I think it's a, I think it's like me becoming bored with sex. Yeah. So now I'm like, yeah, I need you to ride a unicycle and juggle dildos. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I need you to. <laughs> Chelsea's like, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is fucking like, I mean, you know, happy, <laughs> you know, till till death do us part, I guess. <laughs> here, I need you to jump through this hoop of fire, butt naked. <laughs> jump through here. I can't come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, what the fuck has happened to me, dude? Just, what happened to me? I don't even watch porn anymore. That's probably what's happening. <laughs> You're just creating crazy shit. I'm making crazy kinks in my head. Yeah, dude. Smash that like button if you're fucking with the clothes. Goodness gracious. If you ever beat off to a clown girl, drop your name in the comments. Yeah, drop your name, address, and phone number in the comments if you've ever looked at a clown girl on <laughs> in Instagram. In a link. Yeah, I I uh I've been tainted by the the internet got me again. Clown girls got me again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> turning around and doing that is insane. That yeah, that, that is, is turning, crazy. Have you, as you're taking back shots and you just <laughs> <laughs> mm. staring out the window while it's raining what's wrong with me <laughs> doom, 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 doom. what the fuck is wrong with me like clown girl mm. shoegaze music mm -hmm. <laughs> clown shoegaze <laughs> clown shoegaze <laughs> I uh, can't come normally <laughs> You need the smell of rubber in the air. Oh, my birthday! <laughs> my birthday's next week, honey. How do you want to celebrate your birthday? I want a clown. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday, I turned thirty. I, I turned I turn thirty-one in two weeks. Chelsea's like, "What do you want to do for your birthday?" I'm like, "I want two big old busty ass clown bitches to fucking." <laughs> I want a. What is that show? The big couch. The big couch clown. I don't, I don't know what that is. The big couch. Big couch clown show. Big comfy couch. Big comfy couch? Yeah. Big comfy couch. Everybody loved this show as a kid. And I think big comfy couch had, like, the resurgence of it being in the meta. And then people, be, like, Canadian. I guess people had a crush on her. Kids had, uh, people growing up had a crush on the big comfy couch girl from this the Canadian one? children's show. This one? Yeah. Apparently, that was a maybe. That's where the the kink started for for a lot, for a of, lot people. of people. Yeah. yeah, maybe like in my subconscious, I because I remember being scared of like stuff like that. I, dude, bro, did anyone else get hella fucking nervous when Chucky would come out onto the floor at Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah, that dude, always made me uncomfortable. Ooh, that always stressed me out, dude. When Chucky would come out, just. Chucky, Chucky e. Cheese comes out, and you're like your parents are like, "We paid good money, go say hi to Chucky." Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I really, I what do we don't want to say hello to Chucky? I paid forty dollars for tokens. You better go say what the f go dap up Chucky right now. Go dap that motherfucker up. Say what up to Chucky right now, bitch. Pull up a picture of fucking Chucky, dude. Pull up to pull pull up a picture of Charles Edwin Cheese right quick, dude. <sighs> <laughs> Charles Edwin G. Pull up CEC right quick, dude. Ooh, I'm scared to turn around. Jesus Christ. 
those fucking big old buckaroos staring down at you, dude. He's rubbing his hands together all weird, too. Yeah, That's like, a really yeah, weird. Dude, I'm going to hug some kids, and their heads are going to be conveniently placed in my crotch for some reason. No every... one's going to be able to see my rock-hard dick in these, <sighs> this fucking mascot mouse pants. <laughs> That that little black piece of mesh in the mouth hole just soaked with saliva. <laughs> dude, the animatronic Chuck E. Cheese made me uncomfortable too, dude. Yo, like this, that one. this is a, actually a creepy picture. Yeah, we got banned from Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. We had a birthday party there. <laughs> we had a birthday party there, and they put it. That is a demon. Oh, that's Pasquale. Oh no, that's the pizza. They changed the Chuck E. Cheese pizza to a different brand name. Pasquale. Oh, okay. But, but yeah, that's, that's a. <sighs> Look at the uh, look at the one from the seventies. It's two pictures below on the on the left of the screen. Look at those dead eyes, though. The dead yeah, AI that's... mouse eyes. Oh yeah. my god! See, he's, uh, their head's always near his crotch, dude. He's always holding them close like that. And he's like holding his tail all weird. Hey, yo, what's in his hand? <laughs> it's his tail. He's like holding his tail oh, all oh, perverted yo, and gross. Dude, what the hell? Why is the? T <laughs> oh, and he's missing an eye. What is this? Oh, it's nightmare fuel, dude. Oh my god, the hot. And then I don't like I don't like the fucking I Oh, this like is from a I think this is from a horror movie. This Oh, this is Five Nights at Freddy's horror movie. The mascot character definitely homage to 80s walk around Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, I see. Yeah, 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 Sorry. yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's is so popular because it's it's yeah, it played into that that fear that I'm talking about right oh. now. And I've gotten really interested in Five Nights at Freddy's. I didn't grow up with it. I didn't play with it. Yeah, I, I don't know what I that is. It's a it's like a new a, thing. It's a video game Isn't on it? Steam. It's like mm -hmm. a PC game where you you work as a security guard, and then the fucking animatronics come up, come right. alive at night. Yeah. And so basically, like it's like multiple security camera screens, and if you stare too long at one screen, you're allowing the characters to move around the building. Oh, that's creepy. And they're slowly making their way to the security room that you're in. Ooh. So you, it, you, you have to do little it's a traps psycho, and stuff. Yeah, it's a like, little psycho thriller. Yeah, so you have to do like repeated tasks over and over and over again. So it kind of breaks you down mentally. Yeah. And then when you lose, it's like a jump scare. That's oh, when you lose. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we, that's a creepy one. Yeah, they put us on stage with them while they were playing, like the animatronics were playing. Mm -hmm. And like one of my birthdays as a kid, they my parents put us up on stage so they can get pictures of us with the band. And then we got banned from fucking Chuck E. Cheese. And I was like, thank God. Yeah, this was always <laughs> weird. That room was always dark and stinky. It smelled like pizza and sweat. Yeah. It was the, gross. Uh, the, um, yeah, the, uh, the dog used to freak me out. The dog, the bird, the guy, they're all very freaky looking. They're all very, very freaky. Freaky looking. Look at that guy. That guy looks like me. <laughs> hey, come eat the pizza. Welcome to Pedo's Pizza. Welcome to Pedo's Pizza. Only in the metaverse. Hello. <laughs> hey, little kid. Come on in to Pedo's Pizza. Pet <laughs> Pedo's Pizza. Good pe God. Some of these are so creepy. It's like there's so many different, like, eras of them. Yeah, you, I can't remember their names. I know uh, William Montgomery's a oh big. Oh my God! Look William at that. Montgomery's a big fan of the purple guy. His name is Mister Munch. I know that because of William. <laughs> and then that's that's good old Charles right there. Charles Edward. And then those that was a uh, that right there is the pre. That's pre Chuck E. Cheese. That was the the animatronic company sold their uh, sold the tech to the Chuck E. Cheese. Mm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. the one like in the seventies. They've had this since like. The seventies, early eighties. Chuck E. Cheese didn't come around until like late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I kind of miss. <sighs> so that, I think that's kind of where uh, cider cades, barcades, kind of came from. But mm. like, if there was any kind of um, business that I would open, I would open a Japanese barcade with like Japanese arcade games. Mm. Yeah, because Japanese arcade games are god tier. What's the difference? So, like, they're actually, like, so you got dancing games, you got rhythm games, basically, like, DDR and shit, Japanese Guitar Hero, Crane games. Everything in America kind of feels like a kid's casino. It's all redemption games. So redemption games are, like, tickets, and then, you you know, you go to the little store and you buy shit with the tickets. Okay. 
so I've watched American arcades basically just become like that stepping stone to get you into the casino. Mm. It's not it's not about having fun anymore. Yeah. It's like about hey, let's get their minds. It's reward system based. Yeah, let's yeah. get their mind. It's like Candy Crush. It's yeah, it's for got, kids. It's crap. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're gearing you up like kids. I have a gambling problem. Yeah. I loved going to arcades as a kid. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like it kind of goes hand in hand. Dude, I fucking do. <laughs> I, when I went to Vegas for Skankfest last year, I won two hundred and fifty dollars within minutes of being there. You're, you're like I I pulled the fucking slot machine one time and I had and then I and then I pulled it another time and then I had five hundred dollars. I was like, what Whoa, the fuck? Crazy. Yeah, I put a, I started with a hundred and then I had five hundred bucks, and then I just kept fucking playing slots all fucking weekend. And you and lost I was, it. And then I yeah, and then yeah. I was down five hundred and so I was like, all right, you. cool. That's how they get you. Yeah, it's how they get you. You play play during the week. And then you don't play slots. Don't play slots on the weekend. Your first, uh, win and and don't go to another machine or, or go play blackjack yeah uh, start with slots i've never really understood start the start with like small bills and then try to get a couple hundred bucks on slots with small shit start with like 50 to 100 bucks on slots then you try to get 250 300 this is my this is my gambling strategy i'll try to multiply my money with slots first real quick with small amounts then get your starter cash and then take your starter cash from the slots to the blackjack table and then, or play baccarat or something like that. Make sure you're on some kind of psychedelic too. It makes you more in tune with gambling mm. in favor. <laughs> and God. And God, yeah, yeah. You're more in tune with God. You can pray to God while you gamble. That is pretty funny. Like the like the kid that's like a gambling addict. Like, oh man, mom's gonna kill me if she finds out I use the grocery money on the coin game. Yeah, mom's, you know what I mean. Like the coin game uh, with dude, the tractors. My, my mom's gonna fucking kill me when she when she fucking finds out I. We lost a fucking treehouse. Yeah, I lost the. I, I put the treehouse on on. on I, I put to... I put the treehouse on black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put my entire allowance on black, please. <laughs> put my, all my lunch my my lunch money. Yeah, I'm putting all my lunch money on wed. <laughs> wed a spin, Adiwa. I'm like I'm putting all my lunch money on ski ball. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and just like uh, like. Oh, I just need a couple more tickets. I'm just trying to get one of those plastic army men that has the parachute on the back of it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. God damn it. Can you hold me down with some tokens, player? I'm just trying to get a motherfucking spider ring. <laughs> <laughs> Please, man. I'm just trying to get a motherfucking spider ring and a sticky hand, yeah, and I'll be just... good, man. I'll be... Man, baby, let me get it, man. Come on, baby. I'm just... Let me get some tickets, baby. I'm just trying to get a motherfucking Snickers, uh, um, um, a Snickers minis, and a motherfucking <laughs> like one fist of tokens. I'm, I'll, I, Come I on, yeah. man! I'm just trying to get a Kit Kat and a rubber band gun, baby. <laughs> what's a brother? <laughs> to quote the great Tony Wellens, what's a brother gotta do to get a sticky hand? What's a brother gotta <laughs> do? What's a brother That's gotta so do funny. to get a hacky sack? A smiley face hacky sack, baby. Come on, baby. I just need to. <laughs> Is that a Wellens bit? That's awesome. What's a, no, a what's a brother got to do? Oh, yeah, that's okay. Tony Wellens does that. It's, Tony Wellens is the best. And it's crazy. Tony yeah. Wellens will go on stage to a room full of black people, uh, to a room full of white people. and he On will, mushrooms. Yeah, Tony Wellens will take mushrooms. Go on stage with white, uh, a whole white audience, and without any prefacing, without any setup in his joke, he will just shift into black voice, and then he gets so pissed when they don't get it. <laughs> he gets so mad, dude. They don't, he, they can't pick up on that. He's just fucking around, and he's just changing into voices really quick. So funny. And they're like, yeah, I love it. These people don't get it. They're, he's from Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are no black people in Austin. So whenever you do like black people material, whenever you make fun of black people or do like black material in an, uh, in Austin, they they clam the fuck up. Mm. They clam up so quick. I don't know what it is. Dude. <laughs> I, I want to do more. Hey, more prizes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm trying, trying to, to get I'm an try inflatable shark. Yeah. Because they always had an inflatable oh, shark. Oh shit. Oh shit! Yeah, you see me, big dog. Big dog's on top, baby. Yeah, let me get that. Uh, let me get the tech decks in the half pipe there <laughs> for the five thousand tickets. I did get that once. That was my biggest W at Chuck E. Cheese. Was yeah. an off-brand fucking tech deck. Fucking and throw in a little pack of Smarties too. Yeah, yeah. Let me get let me get some Smarties for my bitches. They had the shittiest candy in <laughs> there. Let me get a, a a a. Let me get that Furby for 20,000 tickets <laughs> and get some Smarty necklaces for my bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love a Smarty's necklace, don't you, bitch? <laughs> yes, daddy. 
Now go on, get in the ball pit. <laughs> now, now, no, go on, get your ass in the ball pit. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> just a little white kid. <laughs> He's just a little white, balling ass white kid at fucking Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> That's good. He's fucking like, he's on, <laughs> he's on a jet ski and he's on the phone. Yeah, I'll be there in a little bit. It zooms out and he's playing Wave Runner. Yeah. <laughs> what you, what you mean the Puerto Ricans are moving into our territory? <laughs> yeah. It fucking pans out. He's playing fucking Wave Runner. <laughs> the ring pop. He's got fucking ring pop. It's just like shit. a close up on his face and he's like, and he's like you. He's like, you ever cross me again? And like, it's clear he's like beating someone. And then it zooms out, and it's the alligator, uh, the alligator <laughs> yeah, yeah. video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever cross me again? <laughs> yeah, he's playing whack a mole. Yeah. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Don't ever come around here again. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. Tickets start spilling out. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, you crossed me, and you know what that means. He's like, you took tickets out of my pocket, and you know what that means. I'm taking teeth out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> and it's like, it, it's the, the clown. The clown the with the clown. gun. <laughs> the <shoots>. Yeah. Thump. <laughs> yeah. Thump. Thump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's so funny. Uh, that's pretty much all the Chuck E. Cheese I really remember mm -hmm. is like those three or four things. Low-key Chuck E. Cheese did slap, dude. Dude, I, I always... It was, it was like as good as it was bad. Yeah. Blaine, our guitarist, went to a. He was when he turned thirty. He had a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. No way they let you do that. I guess, yeah. No fucking yeah. way. I didn't. I. I don't think I made it. But <laughs> pussy. Yeah, I don't know why the I boys guess. just in there fucking drink. Just fucking. I remember. I remember when you could. Get he might have went by himself. <laughs> I can remember when you could get drunk at Chuck E. Cheese. You can. I think they, they brought been... it back. Yeah. No, dude, they banned alcohol for a little bit, and then the fucking attendance dude. went so down. You have to, as a parent, you have to be sloshed at dude, Chuck E. Cheese. That's dude. so funny that some that people ruined that yeah. at one point. Like there was, there are just stories a, out there of people shit faced at a Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese. Yeah, you just go to dude, go to Reddit right now and oh, just God. type in uh. Fight at Chuck E. Cheese. There's so many fights at Chuck E. Cheese, like the parents fighting each other, fighting other parents, like in Atlanta. There's like a Chuck E. Cheese in Atlanta, and they're having a full-on throwdown, dude. Another fight at Chuck. <laughs> Public freakout, baby. My favorite Reddit page. Another fight at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> This is the week they brought alcohol back to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> the week they brought it back. Or the week that they banned it. Yeah, it could be the week they banned it or the week they brought it back. Dude, Chuck E. Cheese in the hood is crazy, bro. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Give me my tickets, bitch. It's right at the prizes, too. Something went down. Hell, yeah. Something look at Look down. at Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife trying to split it up, dude. There's <laughs> fucking... That bitch looks like Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife right there. That's so funny. Watch. She comes in in the orange right here. She's like, oh, hell no. God, oh, yeah. God damn it. I can't fucking take. Y'all can't be fucking <laughs> nowhere. I swear to God. There's kids out here. Y'all y'all need to stop. There are fucking kids out here. This guy's got his son. Look at in this his guy. He's holding his son in his arms. That's crazy, dude. What was this about? What could it have possibly been about? Hood News Peep exclusive. Yeah, dude. Shout out Hood News Peep exclusive, bro. That's crazy. Another fight at Chuck E. Cheese. Can we get more? Chuck fight at Chuck E. Cheese. Fight? That one's NSFW, dude. What does that mean? Not safe for work. So somebody's titty pops out during the fight. I gotta see it. Y'all so ghetto. Oh, yeah. Titty's definitely flying out of this fight. Look at them trying to barricade. Oh, they're letting kids in. All the oh, okay, that's really scary, actually. Yeah, people acting up, screaming at a Chuck E. Cheese and your kids, kids around. Come this on, guy man. comes in with his birthday gift. Yeah, they're literally trying to have the best day of their lives. Oh shit, dude. That's terrifying. Is that like a weird? Is that like a? I don't know, drug? dude. It looks like he. Oh. It's a gay black dude. Yeah, I that's think. like a that's a gay black like. That's a gay black dude for sure. Into prison Whoa. 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 Hey. He's fighting ding, a girl. Ding. ding, ding. Oh, yep. There we go. Grab the hair, slap the head. Grab the hair, slap the head. This is great. Fight at Chuck E. Cheese is insane. Oh, cool. Your phone got scooped up. Somebody scooped up a cell phone. This is crazy. crazy. 
Man, y'all really acting up at the Chuck E. Cheese for real, for real. God damn. Like, it's Tavion's birthday. <laughs> it's my fucking Tavion's birthday. Like, that's why I can't fucking take y'all nowhere for real. I swear to God, I put all my goddamn energy into this. I invited all you motherfuckers. You ruined Tavion's second birthday. <laughs> It's a fucking two-year-old's birthday. They drop like fucking, they drop like fucking four grand on a Chuck E. Cheese birthday. It's a fucking two-year-old's B-Day, dude. I swear to God, I can't bring y'all nowhere. Y'all fucking ghetto for real. I worked so fucking hard. I bust my fucking ass off at the DMV for weeks for this shit. And y'all motherfuckers gonna ruin everything. Y'all ghetto as hell. That's why I can't fuck with none of y'all. Y'all stay doing ratchet ass shit like this. It's Tavion's second birthday. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Things like this don't happen in the metaverse. Come to Chuck E. Cheese in the metaverse. Chucky's there, and he won't touch your kids. Your kids can't get touched by Chucky in the metaverse. Jesus Christ, We dude. still sell beer at Chuck E. Cheese in the metaverse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that is literally crazy, dude. There's so many oh, videos of one. fights at Chuck E. Cheese. Why do so many fights occur at Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese's? Cheese. Thank you, Reddit. Let's yeah. figure it out. Let's go. Chuck E. Cheese serves alcohol. All right, hold on. Okay, hold on. You read it. Chuck E. Cheese serves alcohol to its adult customers. It's been partially responsible for so many in incidents in the past, but a lot of places serve alcohol. Hooters is an adult-themed restaurant. You don't hear about brawls there. Dave & Buster's. Most places that serve alcohol aren't dedicated to children's <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> How would... Addition of children's entertainment cause chaos. Ever seen a mother get in a mama bear mode? Kids argue and fight. One parent defends their child. Other parent gets mad that a parent is bullying their child. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Adults. That oh makes yeah. Sense. Adults bully other kids or they'll they, be like, "Get off my kid" or whatever. Or take, they take taking tickets or cutting in line, shit like that. One of the disputes you listed was over arcade tickets. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Another fight started while waiting in line for prizes. There's one where a grown woman pushed a little boy. <laughs> People are fucked, man. Scroll down some more. People are on edge from dealing with all the kids, and on top of that, they're trying to make sure that their kid is having a good birthday, and when they perceive someone as compromising it, they get defensive and angry. Yeah, like if somebody was fucking up your wedding. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that Those feelings, those that, that fear I had of somebody crashing my wedding, just fucking and being, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, I get it. But, again, relax, bitch. It's Tavion's second birthday. <laughs> How did a uh, 14-minute Chuck E. Cheese brawl compilation? Oh, is my God. 14 minutes and not made by me, in parentheses. Oh, it's age-restricted on YouTube. Right-click that. Watch on YouTube. Yeah. Control, right-click. Whoa, dealer no deal. Y'all going to scrap out front of the dealer no deal? Come on, man. Not in front of the dealer no deal, man. Come on, man. <laughs> this rules. Oh, my God. Yeah, we need like a metal breakdown in the background for this dude. Just do 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 What the fuck is up, Chuck E. Cheese? Open up the fucking pit! See the security guard run off in that last clip? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh Boom. my god. Bow, bow. At the claw machines. Wild. Yeah, turn it off. I forget <laughs> people listen to this. And they're just hearing fucking people screaming. <laughs> well, they would listen to it if uh, the last seven episodes were uploaded on the Apple Podcast. I have no idea how that works. What did I pay for? That that host thing? Does that automatically upload it? Like, how can we upload it to one and then it uploads to all of them? It it, it It's on me. I just have not been doing it. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yo, oh, you're fine. You didn't think people would act. It's crazy that you didn't think that people would be like, hey, what the hell? It's but not that I didn't think about it. It's just that I kept forgetting to do it. And then it stacked up, and then I started doing it again. It's like, oh, shit, I got to do this. And I started doing it, but I can only do so much at a time. So, uh, Dude, yeah, yeah. I'm not stressing <clears throat> and it's it. kind of We're an still little, yeah. and we're still learning. Just, uh, I kind of like that people are complaining. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you. Keep yeah. complaining, guys. We'll make changes and we'll keep getting better. We'll only get better as you complain. I noticed that with Kill Tony too. People yeah. complain about Kill Tony on Kill Tony Reddit and then they immediately start fixing it. Yeah. I mean, 
<clears throat> you're lucky in this world if you get good feedback about anything. I know, like, yeah, constructive yeah. Feedback. Constructive everyone's feedback. Like, everyone's either like, good job, dude, or they're like, or people just you like to suck. shit on. Yeah, yeah. you're just going to shit help. on it. It doesn't yeah. help. It's not like, you suck because your shit's not on Spotify. Yeah. The producer sucks ass. Get yeah. a new one. Yeah. Like, like, do y'all have new producer money? <laughs> y'all? Yeah. Yeah, we got producer at the house. Producer at the house. Just you, <laughs> just Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. You're my boy. Hell yeah. And yeah, when, wherever I'll, wherever I'll this goes, you know, you know when YMH smartens up and they're like, "Yo, we want R three in our network." I'm sorry, brother. My terms are: <laughs> TG comes with me. Sorry, any. We our, love, we love you, any. But I love any. This is but my turf. I love any, any. I love you, any from YMH. I love you, but R three TG all day. Taylor you, Gang, you and me. Taylor Gang, R3, Taylor Gang, dude. It came from our collective minds. Taylor Gang till I die. <laughs> T-G-O-D. Taylor Gang or die, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> you ever feel cool when he says that? When Wiz Khalifa says Taylor Gang? It was a cool era. <laughs> For you? It was a cool era. <laughs> yeah, Taylor Gang. Because everybody's like, what's your name, dude? And I'm like, I'm Taylor. And they're like, oh, Taylor Gang. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what it meant. <laughs> it you was, didn't renew? Yeah, that yeah. was like Taylor. That's so funny. But every time they said it, I was like, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was Taylor know? Gang because he always wore Chuck Taylors. Mm. Speaking of clown shoes, <laughs> I, I, hate, I don't even wear those. I, I hate Converse's, dude. It's like wearing a piece of cardboard. Oh, they suck. They do. They They're bad. suck, dude. Yeah, let's wear tech from the 30s. <laughs> Let's the premier basketball shoe, shoe of, of, the, <laughs> of the 1930s Cel uh, Boston Celtics. <laughs> the premier best, the premier basketball shoe of the 1930s Boston Celtics. The Converse All Star, Chuck Taylor. Why did you go Russian on that one? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> in the New metaverse, character. in the metaverse, you can wear whatever kind of shoes you want. And your feet won't hurt. In the metaverse, you can take as much dick in your ass as you want. Whoa, and you won't feel a thing. In the metaverse, you can get your cheeks clapped by big black dudes all day long. <laughs> it's me, Mark Zuckerberg. Hi, hello, fuck me in my ass. It feels so good. Only in the metaverse. In the metaverse, the Radio Ridley radio show is the biggest podcast in the, in the, in the world. Yeah. R3. One day, one day, as the prophecy foretold, two boys, a studio, and a Mexican child named Tony. <laughs> Traversed into waters that no man has ever traversed before. With nothing but a mere couple of logs and a sail strapped to their back. And $40,000 worth of camera gear. $40,000 worth of camera gear. The studio is undergoing changes. I'm not going to tell you, but we are going to have a visually different setup for the viewers of the show, which I'm very excited for. I want to pitch in on that. I want to have... Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking casting couches, <laughs> low, low casting couches, like low sitting couches, maybe a coffee table. We'll hook these arms up. We'll have it. We'll have it so everybody can be lounging in this hoe. I want. I want the boys to feel comfy in this bitch. And we can have multiple guests. <laughs> you keep talking about it with such authority. You're like this is exactly how it's going to be. This is going to be. I, don't, I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know. It's Taylor's place. I don't know. <laughs> I spent all the money on it, but it's still Taylor's place. <laughs> we have an agreement. <clears throat> maybe, we, maybe we can do the uh, that one unreleased one we have in the bank. Maybe that can be a Patreon one. That'd be fun. And and just see, let's just see if anybody goes and watches it. Yeah, put that one. Ep I have one episode to put on a Patreon. <laughs> we do it, have the Texas Roadhouse episode oh, too. The dude, fabled. The what we'll do is we'll keep talking about the fabled Texas Roadhouse episode, and if enough people pester us, we'll, we'll put it on a Patreon. We'll put it on the, the the fabled Texas Roadhouse episode where you talk about Texas Roadhouse for forty minutes. Yeah, and then I was like, we can't post this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. I was like, at the end of that, I was like, why the fuck did I talk about Texas Roadhouse for 45 <laughs> fucking minutes? Why the fuck? Dude, I love me some TXRH, boy. I said that 17 times. Don't get him started. Nope. Hey, man, don't get me started on them goddamn Texas Roadhouse, boy. You give me them buttered rolls. Put them buttered rolls in my motherfucking mouth, dude. Can't say the N-word with a mouthful of rolls. You know what I'm saying, dude? Can't be racist with a mouthful of rolls. Can't be. I can't hate. I can't hate nobody of color if I got that goddamn cinnamon butter dripping down my face, boy. I can't do no goddamn. I can't do. Ain't no hate in my heart when I got TX in my tummy, dude. No hate in my heart when I got TXRH in my tum tum, dude. Let me tell you right now, brother. 
I'll tell you right now, dude. <laughs> this motherfucker sold me a goddamn normal cut and charged me for a fillet. I was like, waiter, um, you sold me. I can't. I can't remember a porterhouse or uh, classic cut sirloin or some shit. Normal sirloin. I cut it in half. It's all sinewy and shit. You can mm-hmm. see. You can see the gapping in the in the in the muscle. And then Chelsea had the fillet, and I cut hers, and it was just. It looked like fucking tuna, dude. It mm-hmm. looked like sushi. Perfect. Yeah, it looked like sushi. Okay, that is a fillet. That's fillet. Yeah. Y'all done sold me raccoon ass. All right. You see this? This is a raccoon's <laughs> ass. <laughs> She's got ahi tuna. Y'all gave me fucking, y'all gave me roadhouse roadkill. Y'all gave me Texas roadkill is what you fucking gave me. You gave her goddamn ahi tuna. Texas rodent. Yeah, you gave me Texas rodent. You gave me Chuck E. Cheese's left ass cheek. (laughs) You gave me fucking Charles's left ass cheek. And you gave my wife Nemo's underbelly. Look at this fucking dude. It was fucking, her shit was solid red all the way across. No lines, nothing. That's filet, dude. You didn't give me enough. You guys gave me fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger's face when he loses his skin in the Terminator. That's what y'all fucking gave me. You all, y'all gave me movie makeup meat. <laughs> shit looks like a goddamn Halloween mask, brother. This shit looks like Freddy Krueger's foreskin, dude. What the fuck is this? Dude? I'd rather have a Beyond. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Y'all done gave me fucking AI generated steak, dude. What the fuck is this, dude? Y'all don't give me. In the metaverse, you can eat whatever kind of cut of steak you want. You gave me that goddamn fucking. Motherfuckers, dude. Try to play my ass. I was I was like a fucking Colombian Coke dealer. I was like, hey man, what the fuck is this shit? You trying to fuck me, man? Look how much I chewy. Chewing <laughs> infinity. Get fucking him. dude. Take could- him away. <laughs> Matalo. <laughs> Kill them. You fucker. <laughs> Well, thank you um, to another episode about nothing. <laughs> the what Arthur. Do you there, were, there were so many things. We did the clown pussy. I we fucking, did. I'm gonna tell you right now, Taylor. I fucking hated this one. Okay, we dude? haven't. I fucking hated this shit. Don't say that. I hated it. We had to change the chair. We fucked up again. We didn't. That was ch- awesome. We had to change the chair. Tony came in the clutch with the Tony chair. Tony did come in clutch. It was with cool. The chair. It was, and then the people watched you transform. They saw how important the chair was. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Because now I'm like, oh, cool. Now I can do another 45. But those oh, yeah. chairs, those dude. I feel like we could keep this one going. We're only at 103. But we could we could go another yeah, 10. Let's go, let's go another, another 10. 10. Let's just ride it out, 10. dude. This has been I'm a great episode. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. Uh, what the fuck am I doing, man? <laughs> the fuck am I doing here? This is what I have to deal with. What is the meaning of my life, dude? To be the greatest. One day. To be the greatest there ever was. Who knows? I want to go. I've been having a lot of fun on stage. You're so locked in. Mm-hmm. Clear. We could tell people about what we did the other night. What did we do the other night? Uh, with with the speaker in your car and the microphone, and uh, you pulled up next to. Go ahead. You could tell people mm-hmm. what we do sometimes, and then okay, a little fun thing that we do sometimes. Um, comment down below if you guys want to see actual YouTube videos of us doing this, because I've been wanting to do this for the better half of like a year, year, year and some change, and I've wanted to do this idea. We drive around Austin in my truck. With a giant JBL uh, JBL party box speaker, pull it up so they get an idea of what I'm talking about. So you get this JBL party box speaker. It's like those big ass wheelie speakers, but without the wheel and the hand. It's like a two handles, and it comes with a micro a karaoke microphone, and it's Bluetooth connected. I don't have a stereo in my car. Uh, full paint job, brand new paint job, two years ago. No fucking stereo. All of my cars. I I, I don't know what it is, but. God's like, Ridley, you don't deserve a car with a stereo. For a long time, God was like, Ridley, you don't deserve a car with AC. And I finally have a car with AC, but now I still have no stereo. So in effort to do something about it, I went and bought this JBL speaker that I saw at a Verizon store. I was like, God damn, that shit's thumping. They were using it as the in-store music. Licking your chops. I was like, God damn, dude, look at that motherfucker just cranking out that bass, dude. Look at that bass cranking out that son of a gun, dude. I want that. How many tickets is that? (laughs) (laughs) 20,000 tickets for the JBL party box speaker. God damn, dude. You took his tickets. I'll I'll take a spider ring. (laughs) I'll take a sticky hand for now, but I'm coming back for that motherfucking speaker, boy. I swear to fucking God. I swear to Christ on a stick. I'm getting that goddamn. So we got the speaker. 
and it comes with a microphone. And so we drive around downtown and we heckle people in real life. <laughs> we just fucking heckle people, people that are like leaving bars. It's usually yeah. like one a.m. Yeah, I was just like, wow, look at that, two white guys. Wow, look at that, two white guys walking across the street in Austin. It's Sunday night, just two white guys dude. crossing the street, and they fell to pieces. Dude. One of they them fell. almost fell over. Laughing. That sounded good though. Isn't that exactly it's what it sounded what like? It sounds like? Yeah, it was like, hey, look at these assholes walking across the street now. Uh huh. I did one. I was one time. One time, this guy was cutting me off, and I was like, "Yeah, buddy, that's a solid line, but I'm gonna let you go through. I'm gonna let you change lanes, anyways. You know, you're not supposed to be fucking doing that." And yeah. then I fucking caught up with him later at another light. <laughs> he was laughing his ass off. One, he was pissed, but he was. I was like, "Yeah, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up?" I'm like, I yeah. had the speaker, and he just fucking was like immediately disarmed. Say something. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna get shot doing it, but I totally love it. No, we got to pick our victims. It. Yeah, we just got to keep white people downtown. <laughs> yeah, stick with st- yeah, well, white betas. Oh, look at these white betas. It would dude. be what we should do is drive up East Six and just do it because it's so long and there's so many different people. East watch. Six, yeah, East we should, Six, and there's, six there's, is perfect. And then we can less, turn around less, like, and hit sketchy laps. homeless people that might fucking attack the car. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah, yeah. We can we can hit laps to yeah. turn around and yeah. keep going. And, and we just need somebody basically like on the street with a camera that's recording. R three R three on wheels. Ridley yeah. roasting on the road. Yeah, that'd be fun. I don't know why. That'd be good I love Patreon. Doing... That'd be good for Patreon. Patreon. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll be just there. For, we go. Pe- force people to go over there to watch us mess people <laughs> <laughs> with your car. Yeah. But tell them about you pulled up. Uh, you pulled up next to an Indian guy. And, and oh it was yeah, like yeah. Really late after the bar. Yeah, yeah, closed. yeah. It was late as fuck. It was late as fuck. There was an Indian guy to the left of us. With uh, with his windows down, and I was like, hold on, hold on. We hit pause on the music, and I'm like, I'm fucking drunk. I'm fucking drunk. I'm gonna kill somebody tonight. Oh, <laughs> police will never catch me. I'm fucking drunk. I'm driving drunk tonight, baby. You're not going to fucking catch me. I'm going to fucking kill a family. I'm going to fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking drunk as fuck. Watch out. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna hit somebody tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna cause a wreck, baby. Nobody can stop me. I'm on cloud fucking nine. You can't fuck me. I'm going to fuck you tonight. I'm gonna fuck you with my Toyota. I'm gonna fuck you in the butt. I'm gonna hit you from the back. I'm going to clap your fucking cheeks with my car. I'm fucked. And I'm yeah. going to drive into your mother's house. I'm going to drive into your Mima's living room tonight. I'm fucking. There's going to be bricks in the fucking living room. I'm going. There's gonna be a fucking bumper in her fucking bathroom. I swear to God. And then we look over, and the guy's just fucking dying. Yeah. <laughs> he was dying laughing. He was. And he was he like, like a very buttoned up Indian guy. Yeah, he, he was had clean like cut. Nice tech, glasses and like a bro. suit on. Like he tech was bro. coming yeah, back yeah, yeah. from Armani some suit. Yeah, Armani yeah. suit. And like fucking, a pretty nice, like an Audi or something. Probably didn't even have a fucking accent at all, but he was oh, just we, dying. We cracked him. We you cracked, cracked him. Uh, well, I didn't so even look. Fun. I didn't see. I'm driving, yeah. so I can't look at them. You right. know what I mean? We were at a stoplight. Yeah, I'm at a stoplight, yeah. I was like, oh, somebody tried to, nobody's going to catch me. You're not going to catch me. No, <laughs> okay. uh, Austin, I, what did I say? Austin Police Department. Good luck, motherfucker. I'm driving drunk. Somebody <laughs> called the police. Somebody called the police. I'm driving fucking drunk tonight, baby. <laughs> Sunday night, bitch. Or some, <laughs> Saturday night. I'm going to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's fucking yeah, crazy. That it's just wild. like me announcing that in the car. Like, you're just in your car like, I'm drunk. I'm going to kill someone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't drink. That's the yeah, most that's that's the funniest. Thing. That's, That's the, funniest the empowering part. thing about it. It's like, oh, look at me. And I'm making the car swerve a little bit. The, per- like, the perfect thing would be like my I insurance. Said, if uh, if <laughs> all states going to see this, they're going to be like, what the fuck? And then Ge- you're going to be Geico's going to see this. Yeah. Progressive's going <laughs> to yeah, see you're this. Gonna they're going to be pissed that you trashed their. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we saw what you said, episode 14. We've been watching ever but, since, fucker. Oh, you're going to fucking drag the gecko from a car? Okay. The back of a truck? I'm going to find you, bitch. I'm going to run you over, progressive flow. <laughs> Fuck you in the butt. But, yeah, that's what we use. Uh, so <laughs> that's exactly. I'm holding it out the window. <laughs> yeah, Taylor will hold it out the window while I heckle people. Me and Lemire, <laughs> me and Lemire were driving through Mueller because we were going to Alamo Drafthouse Mueller, and they have, like, a lot of nice uh, outdoor restaurants. Like, you know, Mueller is kind of a more uppity part of town. It's a little harder to do comedy in. People are a little more liberal, kind of, you know, uppity, liberal, rich people live there. And there are these fancy outdoor seating restaurants. And me and Lemire are driving by blasting Gucci, man. <laughs> we were blasting Gucci, man. And I was like, yeah, 
It's Friday night in Austin, Texas. Flat booty bitches stay home. Flat booty bitches stay home. It's. <laughs> there's like... Meanwhile, there's fucking old white people eating tortellini on a patio, and I'm fucking. There's like, like children's birthday parties at pizza places happening. Holiday season. <laughs> Major key. <laughs> we the best. Flat booty bitches who stay home. <laughs> I get the bag of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Funny. Guys, thank you so much for listening to Radio Ridley Radio. That concludes another episode of the shittiest podcast in the universe. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Email us stuff. Send us stuff. Uh, Radio Ridley Radio at gmail.com. Send us anything, really. If you want to be part of the podcast or if you have an idea for a segment, help me. Uh, the viewers and listeners of the show, we're still on our. You can help mold the future of our show. You can help if you if you if you have a good idea like hey Ridley I want you to do this or send me a challenge or uh, send me a send me some some something you want me to riff on. We should set up a voicemail. Send me a story. Oh yeah, I would love to get. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how they do that. Uh, you need to figure out how to find. It's just a di- it's a website or that something. You make, yeah, yeah it's a website call. you make it, with a phone number. You can call and it, and it'll save the voicemails yeah. for you, and then we can play those. And I'll give you advice. I can give you advice. I'm really good at giving advice and not taking it myself. I'm really good at giving <laughs> good advice, but not applying it to my own personal life, like anything creatively, uh, you know, career wise, uh, relationship wise. Uh, the relationship with your with your dad. How's your relationship with your dad? Mine's not good. And um, how's the relationship with your mom? My mom's dead. How's the relationship with your sister? My sister's doing fine. I love her very much. How's your relationship with your brother? He's retarded and homeless. I don't know where he's at. You know what I mean? How, stuff like that. Jesus. You have a lot of life experience to offer. I do. I do. I advice do. from. Yeah. I do. I've, I've been perspective. I've I've been the prince. I've been the pauper. I've been the the. I've been, <laughs> I've been the prince. I've been the I've been the prince, I've been the pauper. I've been Harry, I've been Potter. I've been sloppy, I've been topper. I've been drunk, I've been proper. Okay? So, maybe trust and believe. Okay? I've got almost 31 years of experience under my belt. Ask for some advice. Radio Ridley Radio at gmail.com. Again, please tell your friends about this podcast. I don't know what the fuck's... I don't, I, I don't know how to grow a podcast. It's up to you. So like we we just have to keep doing. It. I just, I just have to keep working. Hopefully we can make some money because we're forty k in the hole right now, and we're we're gonna declare bankruptcy soon, and we haven't even gone public yet. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, smash that fucking like button with the head of your cock, like, smash, subscribe, like, smash that like button while you subscribe, share, buy a t-shirt, uh, buy a shirt because we're <coughs> never we're never making. This design again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This shirt design, no more. No more. Once yeah. these are gone, these are gone. And then anyone anyone who holds on to these, when I'm selling out theaters, if you bring one of these shirts, the day I'm in a theater and you, and you bring this shirt with you, or you DM me 10, 15 years from now when I'm in theaters and you still have this motherfucker. I'll give you 100 bucks. You're getting VIP. You get VIP. <laughs> no, you get VIP to my shows. Oh, yeah. And there's the possibility of that. It that that's a fair deal. You hold on to this motherfucker, you you always have Wait, VIP in like my this. shows. Go like this. It's lining up perfect. Yeah. You hold up this motherfucker, you 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 shoot me a DM. You still have this thing, and in, in at 10, 15 years later, you come to my show. You get to be VIP backstage when your boy's big, big, big. Who knows? Who knows how long that'll take? But I'm gonna keep going. Taylor's gonna be here. I don't know where Tony's gonna fucking be. He's been trying to leave this whole fucking time. But he it does was, have like he does have le- I want to leave energy. Yeah, like, fucking kind of. I can see it in his legs. Yeah, he's, he's fucking. Like, he's vibrating. he's ready to dash out. Yeah, he's but he ready. Has, he's like in a runner's start position in yeah, an yeah, Olympic he's, race. He's just he's, fucking. <laughs> this is the longest wrap up I've ever fucking endured in my life, dude. This guy, I, I'm the king of the long goodbye. Now, it dude, takes me 45 minutes to say goodbye every I think time we I can leave. Go another 10. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, just okay, cool. <laughs> Tony's sweating. He just has a fucking <laughs> droplet of sweat going into his eyes. He's just like, God damn it. Fucking end this shit. Shout out to Tony. We love Shout Tony. out Tony. Uh, buy a t shirt. Go to Banana Phone on Sundays. Oh, yeah, Creek yeah, yeah. Go, go, go to the Creek in the Cave on every Sunday. You can catch your boy making fun of all the local comics in Austin that sign up for Banana Phone every, ten, every Sunday at the Creek of the Cave, 10 p.m. It's the show where hecklers dial in. It's a heckle mic. We you do a minute, we make fun of you, and we keep it moving. It's one of the best shows. One of the best shows. I was in pain on Sunday from laughing. It was amazing. Yep. Follow Radio Ridley Radio at Gmail. Follow Banana Phone Mike. 
follow Candace Medina on Instagram. Shout out Candace Medina for adding me to her team of bandits. Um, what else? Follow me on Instagram, Chinky Sweat. Follow me on Instagram, Chinky Sweat. If you live in Austin proper, if you're in Austin, Texas, you want to see me live, boy. I lost my job. <laughs> and everybody knows now. I've literally told every person I've walked into, I've run into, I've been an NPC. I lost my job. Hopefully I get booked. I lost my job. Change the verbiage. Tell them that you quit your job. No, yeah, yeah, quit my job. Quit my job. No, I lost my job. And I'm getting booked. So you're going to see me more. Uh, I'm actually getting booked quite frequently. So if you live in Austin, (laughs) if you want to see me more often, come on down. Follow me on Instagram. I post all my dates on there because they're so infrequent. So um, thank you again for watching and listening to Radio Ridley Radio. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye.